Howdy folks, in this lesson I'm going to teach you the basic claw hammer lick. Now this lick underpins almost everything you'll play in claw hammer style, so it's pretty important. Let's have a look. Now that was a little bit of Cripple Creek followed by just some claw hammer rhythm. So let me show you in a little detail how to play that basic claw hammer rhythm. So let's take a closer look. Now the crux of claw hammer playing is playing downstrokes with the back of the nails of these fingers. Most players use the index finger to strike the notes. Some players, however, use the middle finger. And you'll be playing all the different strings with the back of that finger in a downward motion. You can see that my whole hand is moving. What I'm not doing is flicking my fingers outwards like that. I'm just aiming the back of the nail towards the string and plucking it as I move across it. Now I'm also thumping on the head a little bit as you can hear. And that's part, to me, part of the uh, magic of claw hammer is that you get some drumming sounds along with it. Now there are players who are very careful and don't do that, but I think for me, a lot of the greatness of claw hammer comes in this little added percussion effect that you get by your fingers striking the head. And you'll hardly ever see a claw hammer player who doesn't have dirt and worn places on the head. So they are touching the head, whether some of them would like to admit it or not. You do get clear notes when you don't touch the head because it's not cluttered up by the drumming sound. trying not to hit the head and here I'm thumping it. So that's the essence of <clears throat> one of the notes of the claw hammer lick. We're going to play a downstroke with, you can choose either your index or your middle, I'll do it with the index here, on the first string. So just play some of those. And you'll notice that each time I come down, my thumb is right there in striking distance on the, on the fifth string. The basic rhythm is a quarter note downstroke on the first string, followed by a pair of eighth notes. So each eighth note is half the duration of a quarter note. So you've got a quarter, followed by two eighths. And those two eighths are going to be a downstroke on the first string, just like the quarter note, followed by the thumb string. Here it is a little quicker. Now that lick may seem pretty simple, but it takes some work to get it smooth and to get it where you can just play it in an almost subconscious way without thinking about it. So work on that a little while, and if you'd like to continue, just move on over to freebanjovideos.com and check out the rest of my claw hammer banjo lessons.